Do you feel comfortable right now? Yes, I do. Are you in any pain? No. How old are you today? 71. And do you know what month it is now? Well, it's uh, uh, February. Can you close your eyes and now open your eyes? Can you make a fist with your hand and now open your hands? On item one, he would score a zero. His age was 71, and although he hesitated on what month it is, he did get it correct. It's February. I'll hold them up for you. Follow my finger with your eyes. Great. On best gaze, he also got a zero. It may have been difficult to see that his right eye did go all the way to the right. Now, I want you to look at my nose, and I'm going to wiggle my fingers on the outside to test your vision. Can you do it with one hand covering one eye? And look right here at my eye, and tell me if you see my hands moving. Yeah. Can you point to the hand that moves? Great. Great. Look at my eye. Great. Great. Now I'm going to have you cover the other eye. Put that one down. Terrific. And look at my eye and point to my hand that wiggles. Great. You can put your hand down. Anything wiggling? Great. Great. On visual fields, he would score a zero. I did need to remind him to keep focused on the target, my nose, and to reposition his arms. Now, can you show me your teeth? Great. Can you raise your eyebrows? Terrific. And now squeeze your eyes shut. Great. All right, you can open your eyes. For facial palsy, he would get a one for a decreased right nasolabial fold. This was somewhat subtle, and sometimes when I'm trying to assess a subtle facial weakness, I have the patient smile, and then I count the number of teeth on both sides. The side with the weakness generally has fewer teeth showing. Now I'm going to have you hold your arms up for the count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great. Down right there. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Terrific, you can put your arms down. On motor arm, he scored a zero for each arm. Let's hold this leg up for the count of five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great. One, two, three, four, five. Terrific. He scores a one point for each leg. After the initial dip, he continued a downward drift of both his left and his right leg. He does not score a two because his leg did not drift down and touch the bed. Now I want you to touch, make a pointer finger with your hand, touch my finger, and then touch your nose back and forth. Now touch your nose, my finger, your nose, my finger, your nose, your nose. Excellent. Now let's do it with the other hand. My finger, your nose, my finger, your nose, my finger, 
your nose. Great job. Now I'm going to have you put your heel right on your knee and slide it right down your shin. Okay? Can you do that? And can you bring it back up? And now do it again. Put your heel right down, slide it down, and then bring it back up your shin. Okay, good. Let's have you do it with the other leg. Put this heel on this shin and slide it right down the heel. Good, and slide it back up and slide it back down. Terrific. On limb ataxia, he would score a zero. He did not have ataxia on either his finger to nose or his heel to shin. I want to see if it feels different on the left, the right, or it feels the same. All right? Feels the same. Feels the same. I'm going to do the same thing on your legs. Feels the same. I'm going to do the same thing on your face. I'll be gentle. Same. OK. On sensory testing, he scores a zero. Let me give you your glasses, because I'm going to have you read some things for me. OK. Great. Now, can you describe what's going on in this picture? Yes, a sink is overflowing, and a uh, cookie jar, he's uh, on a step stool, and the cookie jar, he, it, uh, the step stool is uh, uh, tipping over. And uh, that's about it. And uh, the woman is, uh, well, drying the dishes, and uh, that was about it. Okay, great. Can you name these objects? A key, a glove, a feather, hammock, chair, and uh, I don't know what, uh, uh, cactus. Great. Now I'm going to have you read some things. You know how, down to earth, I got home from work, near the table and the dining table, dining room table, I heard him speak on the radio last night. Great. On language testing, he scores a zero. Even though he hesitated, he eventually did get the word cactus. Can you read these? Mama, tip tap, 50-50, thank, Huckleberry, baseball player. Terrific. On dysarthria, he scores a one for slurred speech. A zero would be when there's crystal clear speech, and a two would be when it's almost unintelligible speech and anything in between would score a one. Now I'm going to touch you on the left side, the right side, or both sides. And I want you to close your eyes and tell me where I touch you. Left. Left and right. Right. Left, right. I'm going to do it on your face. Left, left, right, Le right. I'm going to move on the left, the right, or both, and I want you to point to what's wiggling. Terrific. On item 11, he would score a zero. He did not extinguish on either visual or tactile stimuli. I did notice earlier in my exam that he did not describe the little girl in the cookie jar picture. But taking the whole exam into account, I would not give him a point for this item. This patient's total NIH stroke scale score would be four.